What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tools Wrestling. Now at the time this video is published, the Kip Clips rivalry should be over. So, I want to take this opportunity, if I have some new viewers watching, and or my current viewers that aren't familiar with the history of the JTW brand. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be talking through every major thing that's happened in JTW since its inception in August 2017. Without further ado, let's jump to August 2017 and let's see what happened. On the 6th of August 2017, I received a video from someone named Zach Rowe, basically roasting me and basically lining himself up for a match at my JTW World Heavyweight Championship. Also on this date, as it was the first time it was seen, was the first date of my first run as JTW World Heavyweight Champion. This video consisted of Zach basically saying how I wasn't good enough to be champion, that he was much better than me, that I was beneath him, and how he wanted to fight. Exactly one month later, on the 6th of September 2017, I debuted in my first official backyard wrestling match in a heavy identity crisis. I didn't really know what was going on. At the time, I was going for a gimmick of like businessman sort of guy. It really didn't work out for me. So I debuted with slick back hair and a shirt and tie uh, and basically came down to the tramper ring and cut a promo on Zach Rowe, basically saying, you know what, you know, you're not good enough to face me. You don't deserve to face me. I've never even seen you compete. You're going to see me compete right now. It was at this instance that someone that no one had ever seen before either, known as Jack Edwards, came down to the tramper ring and challenged me. I then proceeded to have a match against Jack Edwards that didn't last very long. I hit him with a clothesline and a very awkward looking body splash and one, one, two, three. The day after that, on the 7th of September, Zach reacted to my match against Jack and he basically roasted it. Uh, everything that happened, Zach had something that he was, you know, kicking a fuss up about. He was insulting and it was insulting to me. So I got hold of his detailed and I video called him. To his surprise, he had no idea how I got his phone number and I basically was just, you know, angry and he was angry and we were both angry and the call ended abruptly until a knock at the door. Zach was very confused as I burst in and proceeded to strike him repeatedly, giving him a black eye in the process and basically said, I'm your JTW World Heavyweight Champion, you are nothing get out of my shop. This drove Zach to want to fight me even more. And on the 19th of September, 2017, we saw the in-ring backyard debut of Zach Rowe, as well as the debut of El Jantonio. Zach faced El Jantonio in a very quick match that consisted of a few kicks by El Jantonio reversed into one big spear. One, two, three, Zach picks up his debut victory. Then, that's not the end of it. Zach basically carries on to cut a promo on me and saying how, you know, he's coming for the JTW World Heavyweight Championship. Now, little did Zach know, I was there. So I snuck up behind him with a big clothesline, thinking he stayed down as I proceeded to talk about, this is why I'm the JTW World Heavyweight Champion. You all think I'm trash. I'm the one that's, you know, the top guy. He is nothing. I turned around and ate a big Superman punch. The first I've ever taken, and I tell you, they don't get better over time. Superman punch connected. Zap picks me back up to my feet and proceeds to choke slam me through a box. It was then I got on the phone to the anonymous general manager and challenged Zach Rowe to a street fight in which he accepted. On the 22nd of September, me and Zach had our first big matches in JTW. Me versus him for the JTW World Championship in a street fight. Bell to bell, this match lasted 6 minutes and 16 seconds. However, Zach, unfortunately for me, beat me with two spears at the end and picked up the JTW World Heavyweight Championship. A whole month went by before the next match in which I had a lot of time to reflect. Luckily for me, it was a chance of redemption as it was for the JTW Money in the Bank briefcase against Jack Edwards. Now I knew that I could beat him. I'd beaten him before, so I beat him again and became the first ever JTW Mr. Money in the Bank, making my intentions very clear that I was coming for Zach Rowe. However, 
Unfortunately for me, I got injured in the street fight off of a, a back suplex. Now I continued to work through the rest of that match and I wasn't going to make an excuse and say that that was the reason I lost my championship. I also continued to work through my money in the bank match. But after the pain didn't go away, I spoke to the doctors and they said that I needed to take a break from wrestling for a month. Now, Zach took this opportunity to claim that he was the one responsible for the injury. And he started boasting. He started being very, very arrogant as he was now the champion. He had got rid of his biggest threat until he bumped into Jack Edwards backstage. These two bumped into each other and Jack confronted Zach saying, I want a match right now for your JTW World Heavyweight Championship. Zach, unfortunately for him, accepted Jack's challenge in which a very big upset victory, Jack Edwards scored over Zach Rowe with a roll up. It was then after this match that Zach did something we never thought we would see the almighty hero Zach Rowe do. He snapped. He picked up Jack Edwards and Superman punched him once more. Now I saw this opportunity as this isn't right. This shouldn't be happening. So, arguably, I did something wrong here as well. I was a bit two-faced, but I jumped on the trampa ring, confronted Zach Rowe about attacking Jack Edwards. I called him a p <laughs> And then I proceeded to beat him up and throw him out of the trampa ring. It was then I did something very questionable that a lot of people didn't like. I looked at my Money in the Bank briefcase and I took the opportunity to cash it in on the brand new champion Jack Edwards as there I picked up my second JTW World Heavyweight Championship. On the 30th of November 2017, Jack Edwards, Zach Rowe and I, Joe Anthony, had a triple threat match for the JTW World Heavyweight Championship. Now this time round, Jack had forgiven me for obviously my sort of two-faced actions in his previous match, cashing my money in the bank on him and winning. He only forgave me because if he was in that situation, he would have done the exact same thing. Well, this triple threat match didn't even get to start until Jack Edwards got put out of the match by Zach Rowe. In a pre-match interview, Zach assaulted Jack with a weapon. Jack was not medically cleared to go out and compete by the general manager. So, it was then another one-on-one -on -one match between me and Zach. This time, one, I had to defend my title. Two, I was getting payback for my friend Jack. Until, Zach threw me out of the trampa ring and Jack Edwards' music hit. Jack ran to the trampa ring, hopped in, hit Zach with a big clothesline and pinned him one, two, three for my JTW Championship. What a 